Hey everybody, so I finally got my hands on one of those Cadex Tarsier cameras, the new split type camera that does 4K and so I was able to do something that I was planning for quite a long time which was to put this in a 3 inch version of my Calimero frame. This is the Calimero, this is a 3D printed toothpick style frame. So this is a 3 inch version, it's slightly bigger and it's capable of carrying this 4K camera. The advantage of having a 3D printed frame is that I could kind of hide the two boards that the Cadex comes with inside of the frame. So it's actually a pretty high stack, it's that high but it just starts inside of the frame so it doesn't look too bad, it's not too high in total. So this is quite clean, I'm quite happy with this. This is printed out of Saint Smart PDG, which is stiff enough, but still has a little bit of flex, not to be too brittle. And um, I have also adapted this canopy to fit the camera, that it wasn't too difficult because the camera itself isn't bigger than this turtle here. You can see the lenses are pretty small, so that wasn't too difficult to fit. Also the camera is pretty slim. So I could make some room here to have the USB port accessible. So this is accessible without any issues. Um, the board here is a Gap RC all-in-one, which is fixed on a TPU adapter because the Cadex comes with 20x20 20 20 mounts and all these all-in-one boards. I wanted to use the R25.5x25.5. There's an adapter plate here in between the boards that makes it possible to fix this on top. The other parts I used are quite similar actually to the Sanchez build here. So these are DYS1404-6000 KV motors on 3 inch Jamfam props. Why did I use this again, this setup? Because it has so much power. So this thing here is a little bit heavier than the Sanchez. So this one is 75 grams and this one is 101 grams, which is already quite heavy. But these 14.4 motors have a lot of power, way more than enough. So this light version here, pretty much in mid throttle, flies like a 4S 5 inch setup, although it doesn't have as much top end and top speed. So I'm really confident that this thing will fly well and it has more than enough power on 3S to carry its own weight while doing some nice 4K footage. Um, but now here's the problem, I couldn't fly this yet because I had bad luck again. I had an ESC that burned out um, the first time I used it while setting up the motors in beta flight. So I was mapping the motors and spinning them up to see in which direction they turn and which one is where. And while doing that, the ESC burned out, so it must have been, uh, yeah, must have been faulty from the beginning. I had something similar last weekend. You have maybe seen this ultralight setup with the iFlight 16x16 stack and these beautiful T motor F10 11047500 kV motor. So I was super excited to fly this. This is really, really light. This is 55 grams. So I believe this should fly amazing. But again, when I was test hovering it, the ESC burned out. So this is completely burned. Um, I mean, yeah, these things are part of the hobby. It just happens. Sometimes you have bad luck and uh, just get some, uh, some, some bad parts happens. But um, I don't think this is a general issue with those boards because this here has the same one and this one works without any issues. The setup here pulls 35 amps and it's not a problem. This one's flawless so probably I just had bad luck and I'd have to wait for some replacement and uh, hopefully I'll be able to give this some flying in the next couple of weeks. But again the challenge here was more to get all of those electronics in such a tiny package. The flying characteristics itself um, are won't probably won't be a surprise because I have tried a bunch of these setups and I already had a very similar setup with the Cadex Turtle which was in a similar weight range so I believe that won't be a problem and I will put these files up on Thingiverse 
Although I didn't fly it yet, I marked this as a work in progress, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be fine. And yeah, it's a bit sad that I couldn't fly it yet, but that's life. <laughs> that's our hobby. Sometimes you're literally burning money and yeah, so far so good. Thanks for watching. I'll keep you updated as soon as I get this thing flying.